Hi everyone, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Massive thank you for joining me. Today we're having a look at the HTC One A9. A massive thank you to Vodafone for sending me this great device. And today I'm gonna to go through that accessibility settings that I always do on every device that I have to review. And this is a key thing for me, being registered blind or partially sighted, where I can't see out of my left eye whatsoever. Um, I have to turn on some of the key features here. So I have to turn on large text. I sometimes use voiceover to see how well the phone copes with it because different platforms offer different ways of doing stuff. So Android is always different from iOS and Windows struggles compared to these two. So this is HT's 1A9, which is a new phone. It's really great, really like this phone, really sleek, really slender design. And please go and check out my review video of this. So for disabled settings, we need to jump into main settings. So you can either do this two ways. You can either pull down from the top or jump in through the main way. So I'm actually gonna show you the easier way. So you need to click your main application button here. So you pull up all your apps. Then you need to jump into settings, which is this one here. So once you're in settings, as you can see, my settings are a little bit bigger. I've actually already turned on that large text to make it more easy for me to see while I'm filming the video here and for you guys as well. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here so we can see it in greater detail. So what you need to do is actually move down to the personal tab and you're gonna find a setting called accessibility. So as you can see here by the hand, that waving of the hand, it says accessibility. And what we're gonna do is jump into that. And like I said, mine's already toggled on with the larger text, but in here, we're starting at the top here. So you have talk back, which I'm gonna actually demonstrate in a minute, switch access. With switch access, this means the switches on the side can actually do different things on your phone. So underneath that, we've got font size. And if I just toggle this, you can actually see it's got extra large, large, medium, and then small. So you can actually choose. Just coming back out of that. Captions as well is there to help. So next under here, we have got magnification gestures. If I go in here and then toggle this on, one, two, three, three quick taps there. And then with two fingers, you can move around the screen and you can also zoom in and out as well. So one, two, three and we can return, and this will work anywhere, which is really great to see. Underneath that, you've got color inversion. So if I just highlight this here, everything changes, and you can toggle that on or off. You've got color correction as well, so anyone that struggles with red and green, this will help here. You've got notification reminder as well. You've got a high contrast text. You've got a power button to end your calls. So when you've finished a call, maybe instead of trying to tap there on the screen, you can actually just press that power button and that will end your call. And then remember to press it again to lock your device. So underneath that, you've got auto screen rotate. So if you turn it to landscape or portrait mode, the phone will actually use a gyro and the accelerometer inside the device and will turn your device to whichever way you want it. You've got speak your password there in case you can't use the keypad provided. Accessibility shortcut can be added anywhere on the home screen. So you can jump right into these. Text to speech output. You've got touch and hold delay, sound balance, and then finally at the bottom is mono audio. So going back to the top here, I just want to take you into Talkback. So Talkback is like a narrator service that Android puts on all their devices. And like I said, some are better than others compared to other platforms. So I'm just gonna go in here, and we're gonna to toggle this on. touching the screen and sliding your finger around showing item 1 of 42 okay like i said i put the mic in there so you could actually hear what it says so it's asking us to find an application or the calendar good keep sliding your finger around the screen until you find at least one more icon exit button so to actually get out of an application or to move forward you actually want to highlight it and then double tap There we go. I'm going to highlight this box here. When talkback is on, your device provides spoken feedback to help blind and low vision users. For example, it describes what you touch. Select and activate. There we go. So it can go back out of here. You can actually highlight the time, your battery percent, and other things. If I just highlight one of these. 10.56. There we go. It told us the time there. So again, to toggle this off. So you have to once highlight it and then double tap to actually dismiss or accept a command on the phone. 
So going back there, there is lots of key features on here, like myself being partially sighted. I do need that larger text, I do need the magnification, and I do use the speech, which is great to see, and I'm really pleased that phone makers actually put these features in, so people like myself or other people with disabilities can actually use these accessibility features on this phone and actually get to use the latest smartphones. So if you do have any problems or do have any comments, please leave them down below and I always will get back in touch with you. And please give a thumbs up on the video and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.